now. NBC5 First Warning Weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. Speaking of heat, Andrew, it's back today and we have more of it later on this week. Yeah, so it's definitely going to be a warmer feel today. We have 80s and that's how it's going to be the next few days. But as we get to the middle part of the work week, that's our peak heat. So we actually have a shot at some low 90s. So this is how the temperature will shape up the next few days some mid 80s today, tomorrow, even Tuesday and Wednesday, kind of a similar pattern. The only difference is we gradually build in some humidity over the next few days and by Thursday, 91 degrees is what we're going for for the Champlain Valley. So as I mentioned, dew point levels still pretty in check through the day today, but they gradually rise as we get into the day tomorrow, Tuesday, Wednesday, and especially by late week. Look at we're into the oppressive category. And when you combine that with that 90 degree heat, especially on Thursday, it's going to be a pretty hot and uncomfortable day. So the forecast today, lots of sun, just an isolated storm. Most of us will stay dry, though, so it is a pretty nice second half of your weekend. A few storms will be likely both tomorrow afternoon and Tuesday afternoon. And then for the middle part of the work week, we're mostly dry. The big story is that high heat and humidity that shifts on in. If you're along Lake Champlain today, a pretty nice forecast with a southwest breeze, 5 to 10 knots. Wave action just one foot or less in that water temp sitting pretty nice and comfortable in the mid 70s. So as we look on storm tracker across the northeast, have an area of low pressure to the east of our area. That's not going to be impacting our weather today. We have this high pressure area to our south. So that's bringing some calmer and sunnier weather today and also a southerly flow that's going to be resulting in warmer temperatures than we saw yesterday. Zooming in here across our neck of the woods, uh, it's a mostly sunny sky, so not much to show. Not even much cloud cover out there this morning. And temperatures are pretty cool and comfortable. Lots of 50s, still 59 in Burlington, uh, 56 in Rutland, and into the middle 40s for the Saranac Lake area right now. Those dew points, pretty comfortable as well. Lots of 50s, so we are... Uh, in pretty good shape with the humidity through the day today. It's not until the next few days that it starts to build. Visibility is down for St. J, Montpelier, and towards the upper valley. We have some patchy, dense fog this morning. That should burn off, though, in the coming hours, and all of us will get in on a lot of sunshine through the morning into the afternoon, still mostly sunny. A few clouds will pop up, and there could be an isolated shower or storm starting around northern New York by about 2 p.m. this afternoon, and a few of those will drift east into the Champlain Valley by about 5 or 6 p.m., but most towns should stay dry right on through this evening. And as we get into the day tomorrow, mostly sunny to start. By the afternoon, about, about 1 or 2 p.m. and onwards, there will be some isolated type showers and storms. So there could be some uh, lightning with these, some heavy downpours as well. But they will be pretty hit or miss in nature. And then getting into the day on Tuesday, a lot of the same with a partly sunny sky through the day. And around lunchtime and onwards through the afternoon, a scattering of downpours and storms. But the main story the next couple days is that any storms will be pretty hit or miss. So not every town will see them. There'll just be a few around on Monday and Tuesday. By Wednesday, mid 80s, just a spot storm around. And then Thursday, lots of sun, high heat and high humidity, low 90s. And then some storms likely return on Friday.